Iowa football fans should absolutely be worried about the direction of this program. More on that in a moment. But first, a reminder to please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please also check out Ascent Nutrition and their original Ascent Coffee. It's mold and mycotoxin free. It will get you prepped for a long work week or school week in front of you. Again, go ascentnutrition.com. Use the code Hawkeyes. When you use that code and you check out and order a bag of coffee or maybe one of their other products, you can uh, get 15% off and you're also sponsoring, you're also helping this channel here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. So Iowa football is at a crossroads. How does Kirk Ferentz fix this offense? It's a complicated issue, all right? And it's not just a matter of Iowa being last in the FBS right now in offense, and it's not even really close. The total offense right now, uh, they're still, uh, what, uh, 300-some yards uh, for the season in two games. They're averaging, like, what, 150 yards per game. Um, you know, it's such a weird dynamic with Brian Ferentz as your coordinator. I think that's the elephant in the room. We talk about that almost every day. Kirk Ferentz, I, I don't know how you address this, right? Where does he, what does he do to fix this? He's not firing Brian, all right? Even though you could make the argument that he should. He's not going to fire Brian Ferentz, all right? Uh, if you believe that Gary Barta could make a change, okay, let's let's talk about what he can do. He's not firing Kirk Ferentz. And he's also not firing Brian Ferentz. Kirk Ferentz has built up way too much immunity here. And to his own credit, he's done it here over the past 23 years. So the only reasonable scenario you can envision is if Gary Barta, who, by the way, is not as powerful in this program as Kirk Ferentz, like it or not, if he steps up to the plate and says, look, you need to allow Brian to find another job. You need to help him find another job. But there is no possible scenario, no valid scenario on the table in which Brian Ferentz is still the offensive coordinator in 2023. That's what has to be said. Gary has to step up and say, this is not continuing. And either you find a new job for Abdul Hodge and you move Brian back to tight ends coach, you find a new job for, for George Barnett and you move him back to offensive line coach, or you find him a job at a Mac school, at another FBS school, or in the NFL, which is going to be tough because Brian Ferentz has litigation up against him right now. Uh, one of those things has to happen, but Brian Ferentz is not remaining the offensive coordinator. The other possibility is Brian Ferentz steps up to the plate and says, look, I'm not helping the cause and I have to go. I mean, I have to leave. He's got plenty of money. He doesn't have to look. He can wait for the results of this lawsuit and not be employed for a couple of years. Believe me, it's not going to hurt Brian Ferentz. Now it would be a hit to his pride. Is he humble enough to, to step up to the plate and say, dad, I, I need to step away because I'm hurting your legacy. There were rumors that he felt um, that way in the spring and he was looking for a job somewhere else. Ultimately he decided to come back. So um, he was not willing to be unemployed uh, and leave. He was reportedly ready to leave if there was a job available for him in the league, which there was not. Uh, so those are the really the only two scenarios that I see that are reasonable for Kirk Ferentz to get out of this. If if one of those two scenarios does not transpire, and I'm not sure either of them will, this is going to get ugly, folks. And I that's the sad part of this. I love Kirk Ferentz, and I've grown up watching Kirk Ferentz, and he's been such a big part of my fandom as an Iowa Hawkeye fan growing up, just watching his team, such a treat over the years. And I get he's got his faults, but just the thought of Kirk Ferentz going out like this and, and things getting real ugly and him doubling down, doubling down, doubling down. And some people will say this is an overreaction, but I, I just don't think it is because do you foresee a scenario in which Brian Ferentz turns this offense around or Kirk Ferentz turns this offense around? The only way this offense is turned around is if you get an offensive mind in there. And right now they have nobody that's an offensive mind, not who's calling plays. Not Kirk Ferentz, not Brian Ferentz, and I'm certainly not confident in either Brian or Kirk Ferentz to make those changes. The only, Again, the only way changes are made is if changes in the coaching staff are made. And when you have family involved, those, those changes are much harder to foresee. But again, as sad as it is, as I look forward and say, man, this could really start to get ugly and end badly for Kirk Ferentz with this program, I also say, look, he did this to himself. All right. Not only hiring his son, but continuing to pr promote him within. Uh, they were 123rd out of 130 teams last year in total offense. Kirk Ferentz doubled down and promoted Brian Ferentz to QB's coach. They've had opportunities to go to the portal at quarterback. They've refused to do so. They've had opportunities to make changes from their own quarterback room. They've refused to do so. If it ends ugly, it's incredibly sad. I think Kirk Ferentz deserves better, but we all reap consequences for our actions. And Kirk Ferentz right now, has made decisions that have put him in a very uncomfortable situation. 
because now I don't know what he does. I don't know how Kirk Ferentz fixes this, and I don't know how he gets out of this. It's a very, very tedious situation. Now, will they beat Nevada? I would think so. Nevada's a train wreck. They just lost to Incarnate Word this past Saturday. But honestly, right now, I wouldn't count this offense to be able to score or move the ball against anyone. That's how bad they are. They are in danger of being historically one of the worst offenses in FBS history, and that's not an exaggeration. Kirk Ferentz is in a very dangerous situation, very dangerous position, and I'm calling on Kirk Ferentz. Not that he cares what I have to say, but Kirk, if you're out there, you're listening, please consider what I just said because this is not going to end well, and you deserve better. Your legacy deserves better, and no one wants to see you go out the way Hayden Fry did, although Hayden Fry's issues were partially health related, right? He was dealing with cancer at the time. Um, and Hayden Fry, the issue was never nepotism. All right. He may have overstayed his welcome, but Kirk Ferentz, you know, the decline with Hayden Fry was somewhat gradual. Unfortunately, if something's not changed with um, the offensive coaching right now, and specifically Brian Ferentz, the decline for Kirk Ferentz is going to be much, much faster um, and much more out of control. This could get ugly and it could get ugly fast we'll continue to talk about it folks throughout the week i'll be here right here from the hawkeye of the storm throughout the week we'll have a live call-in show on uh, wednesday at 9 p.m central time it'll be hawkeye hangout taking your calls taking your chats talking all about the hawkeyes talking about nevada and looking forward to iowa football in 2022 we're just two games in and it feels like this season has kind of uh come down crashing around us we've still got time but kirk ferentz boy clock is ticking for them to figure out these issues Please hit the like button. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.